Hi. In the last class, we discussed about what is an included angle. An included angle is the angle subtended between two lines. Also, we discussed about how to find an included angle using an equation related to fore bearing and back bearing of the given lines. So, in this class, we will be discussing about a problem related to included angles. We have to find the included angles between the various lines given and also check out whether the whatever we calculated is right or wrong using a check. So, that is what we are doing in this video. So let us discuss the problem related to included angles. Find all the included angles, angle A, B, C and D, if the four bearings of the line A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A are given. So these are the four bearings of the various lines given. Let us discuss what are the steps involved in doing this problem. Okay? The first step that what we have to do is find all the back bearings that are required. Find all the back bearings that are required. We have, we have given four bearings, but sometimes we require the back bearings of all these lines. So it is better to keep everything handy. So the first step is to find out all the back bearings. That's what I have done here. Let us discuss the various steps first. The second step is to draw the traverse. We have to draw the traverse of the figure. We have to draw the figure so that we can see whether it is an open traverse or a closed traverse. Okay? That's the second step. Open traverse is open in one end. And the closed traverse will complete as in the, in the first point itself. That's what we have to see in the second step. The third step is to determine whether the traverse is a clockwise traverse or anticlockwise traverse. So we have to find out whether it is a clockwise, that is A, B, C, D like this, or an anticlockwise traverse in the opposite order. This is very important. Okay. The next step is to find the included angle. That's what we are asked to do find all the included angles. We know the equation, included angle is equal to four bearing of the forward line minus four bearing of the backward line. Okay. The last step would be to check the correctness of the included angles. After finding all the included angles, we can use a check. I will discuss that check and the equations for it later on. So with that check, we can find out whatever we have found out is correct or not. So to score in this type of question is very easy because after finding out the included angle, that is what we are asked to find. We can also check whether it is right or wrong. If it is wrong, we can also, also do it again to make it correct. That's what we are going to do in this problem. So, let us start with the first step. The first step is to find all the back bearings. We have already discussed how to find the back bearings if four bearings are given, right? We have to add or, my, or reduce 180 degree from it. So, the back bearing of AB is given by, four bearing is given, so the back bearing is, we have to either add or subtract. Since the four bearing is less than 180, we can use 180 plus 45 degree 30 minutes, so we can get the back bearing. It, it is applicable to find out the back bearing or four bearing, we either, either add or subtract from the other one. If it is greater than 180, we add, so we subtract, and if it is less than 180, we add to it. So, we can find out the back bearing of ABS, this one. 225 degree 30 minutes. Similarly, we can also find the back bearings of all these various lines AB, BC, CD, and DA. It is better to keep this in mind so that we can use it in the include angle section. Okay, that is the step 4. The next step would be to draw the actual traverse itself. So, to draw the traverse, we have to start from in some point, right? Yes. Let us start from point A. So, from point A, if I start, if I draw the point A figure over here, this is point A. Okay. So the angle given is 45 degree, right? So 45 degree comes in this quadrant. That is north east quadrant because this is 0 and this comes all the way to 360. We know that. So it starts from here and this 45 degree comes roughly around here. This is 45 degree, right? So let us draw this figure once again. A is here and this is 45 degree. This is 45 degree. I have written this 45 degree. This is given. 4 bearing is given as. 45 degree 30 minutes. Okay, listen carefully because drawing the figure is very important. If you draw this figure properly, then you will get the answers correct. So, from A, I have drawn AB. AB is the first line, the bearing is 45 degree 30 minutes. So, after drawing A, we know where point B will be, right? Because this AB has connected to point B. So, from B, 
we have to draw BC line. From BC, the angle is 120 degree. So if it's B, angle B, so where 120 degree comes in, this quadrant, right? Because this is 90 degree, this is 90 degree, and this is more than 90 comes in, and this is 180 degree. More than 90 comes in this angle. So here it comes over here. This is 120 degree. 120 degree, 15 minutes. Okay. So similarly, we can draw CD also. From C to D, we have to draw 200 degree. 200 degree comes after 180. This is 180. This is 270. Therefore, the 200 degree comes in this quadrant, somewhere in here. So from C, we have to draw all the way up to 200. This is 200 degree, 200 degree, 30 minutes. Similarly, from B to A, B to A is 280 degree. This is 270, sorry, 270 to 360. So it comes in this quadrant. So we have to draw from B to A. And this is from this is a whole, everything is a whole circle theory. Okay, from all the angles starts from north. Everything starts from north. In all the places, the angles are measured from now, measure to towards that line. DA is the line we have to draw. We start from north all the way up to that line. It is 280 degree 45 minutes. It's not necessary that you draw this line properly in the correct actual sense of it. If you draw it in the particular quadrant, it will do. Okay. So after drawing this whole figure, what we have to find out is whether it's a clockwise traverse or an anti-clockwise traverse. So seeing this figure, we can understand that. This is a clockwise traverse because from A, B, C it goes like this. It's a clockwise traverse. Also, it's a closed traverse. It's a closed clockwise traverse. So this completes step 1, 2 and 3. Right. Up to 3 we have completed. The next step is to find out whether the, we have to find out the included angles as the next step. We know the equation of included angles. We will do that in the step number 4. Before doing that, we know we are using a clockwise traverse, right? In clockwise traverse, what we will get is the included angles we find out will be exterior included angles. Exterior included angles. We already discussed this during the portion of included angles. If, we, if it is a clockwise traverse, clockwise traverse, then it will be an exterior included angle. All the angles will be exterior. What we get will be exterior included angles. So we have to find out all these exterior included angles. Then later on we can use this check to find out that it is correct or not. So we we'll go to step number four. In step number four, included angle is four bearing of forward line minus four bearing of backward line. This is the equation for included angle. So let us discuss angle A. We have to find out angle A. This angle we have to find out. So if we are considering this angle, that is. From A, there are two lines somewhere here, A to B and A to C. So what we have to find out or determine is which is the forward line and which is the backward line. From A, we are going in this direction, right? Clockwise traverse, we are going in this direction. So which is the forward line? This is the forward line. A, B, this is the forward line because from A, the next line would be A, B and then B, C and so on. So then forward line is A, B and the backward line is AB. If we are discussing about angle A, we have to mention all the lines starting with A. That is AB and AD, not BA. Okay. From angle A, we have to find out that is 4 bearing the forward line. Which is the forward line? AB is the forward line. So we are using AB as the forward line. And what is the backward line? The backward line is AD is the backward line. Because we are discussing angle A, all the lines starts with A. Not BA. So remember, don't write BA, it is AD here. So the 4 bearing of AB minus 4 bearing of AD will give us angle A. So let us see whether we have 4 bearing of AB given. Yes, 4 bearing of AB is given over here. So we have 4 bearing of AB. We can put it into it. The next will be 4 bearing of AB. 4 bearing of AD is not given. 4 bearing of BA is given. Also, we have found out back bearing of BA. But 4 bearing of AD is not given here. So what we do, we know this, 4 bearing of AD is equal to back bearing of BA. This is what we discussed in the last class. In the last live session, we have discussed this. The 4 bearing of AD can be written as back bearing of BA. So we write as 4 bearing of AB is, is written as this because the answer is given here, 45 to 30 minutes. We will discuss this later. The 4 bearing of AD can be written as 
that bearing of DA. That is, we have to twist this on the other side. D, back bearing of DA. And back bearing of DA we have it here. So, just substituting the values, that is, forward bearing of AB is 45 degree 30 minutes. That is, 45 degree 30 minutes. And back bearing of DA is 100 degree 40 minutes. 100 degree 45 minutes. Okay? If you substitute all these things, we will get the answer minus 55 degree 15 minutes. But the answer is in negative, right? So what to do in case the answer is negative? That is what is given here. If the answer is negative or if there is a negative sign, then we have to add 360 to it. Add 360 to it. Whatever angle we are getting, if it is a negative value, we have to add 360 degree to it. Okay? And also, as a second point we will discuss, if the angle is greater than 360, and if we find out this value, somehow it is greater than 360. In that case, we have to subtract a 360 degree from that angle to find the included angle. So, if the angle is having a negative value, then add 360. And if the angle is greater than 360, then we have to subtract 360 from it. Okay? These, these two are very important points that we will we'll discuss in the later portion of this same problem. Okay? So, the angle A would be minus 55 degree. Therefore, we add 360 to it. Get 304 degree 45 minutes. So I hope you understand how we find out angle A that is forward bearing a forward line that is here. AB is the forward line and AD is the backward line. There are forward bearing of AD. We don't have forward bearing of AD, so we have converted it to back bearing of BA because we know this formula. So back bearing of BA is not we already found out. So substituting these two values, we got this answer minus 55 degree 15 minutes. Since it is negative, we add 360 to it to get 304 degree 45 minutes. So that is the first included angle. Now you see 304 degree 45 minutes, if you mark in angle A, this is the exterior line. That is, this angle is 304 degree, not the interior angle. We already discussed it. All the angles will be exterior included angles. This exterior angle will be 304 degree 45 minutes. But there is no need that you have to mark it over in this figure just to understand because it is an exterior angle. The equation for the z will depend on whether it is an exterior angle or an interior angle. That we will discuss in step 5. So similarly, we can find out all the angles. That is what we will do in the next phase. Okay? Now let us find out the rest of the angles. We found out angle A. Similarly, we will find out angle B, C, D. And also we have to do the final check. I have drawn the figure once again over here. So we have found out this angle to be angle A as to uh, 304 degree 45 minutes. So what is angle B? Similarly, we have to find out angle B is equal to what is the equation? For forward, four bearing of forward line minus four bearing of backward line. So angle B we have taken. What is the forward line? The forward line is B to C. Just draw this arrows over here. This will be helpful. So we now the forward line. The next line will be this line, right? The arrow is here. Is going this way. So the next line is BC. The forward line is BC and the backward line is BA. Don't write that, that AB, it is always BA because we are discussing angle B. So the forward bearing of BC minus the forward bearing of backward line is BA. So let us discuss what we have right now. So forward bearing of BC, we have, it is over here, that is 120 degree 15 minutes. And the forward bearing of BA, we don't have. So we convert it into back bearing of AB. That's what we did, angle A also. Four bearing of BA is equal to that is four bearing of BA is equal to back bearing of AB. That's what we do. We know this equation. We have to use it in all the angles in all the questions related to inglot angles. Okay. So four bearing of BC we know that is 120 degree 15 minutes and back bearing of AB we have already found out as 225 degree 30 minutes. So we use this equation. We get the answer minus 105 degree 15 minutes. Since the answer is negative, what we have to do is add 360 to it. So we have 360 to it to get the answer as that is included angle B as 254 degree 45 minutes. Okay, I hope you understood this one. So we, com we completed angle A and angle B. The next is angle C. Similarly, four bearing of CD and four bearing of CD is there. Four bearing of CD is given. This is not known. So we convert like this. Same way convert the back bearing of B. It is very simple. If four bearing of some line is given, then the back bearing of the same line in the reverse order is also equal. That's what we are doing. CD reflects BC. So we know these values. We substitute these values. Again, we get a negative value. So we add 360 to it to get 260 degree 15 minutes. Similarly, angle D also, same thing. 
and will be what's the forward line? The forward line is B to A and the backward line is B to C. So B A and D C. D C is not known. We convert it to back bearing of C. We know these values. We substitute. 280 degree 45 minutes is given over here and back bearing of CD we already found out as 20 degree 30 minutes. We get a positive value. Since it is less than 360 and also is positive value, we don't have to do any additions to it. So we leave it as such. So these are the angles we found out. Angle A, B, C and D. This is the what, what the question is all about. Find all the included angles A, B, C and D. So now what we have to do is, the, the answer is complete over here but it's better to do a check on whether these angles are correct or not, other why either we have made some mistakes or not, that's what we have to check right now. That is the fifth step. Check the correctness of neural angles by comparing it with theoretical and actual sum. It's very easy, a simple step, only this much you have to do. So the actual sum of the angles, that is the sum, that you, you total all the angles together, we get a value, whatever value we get, should be equal to the theoretical sum of the angles. So what is the theoretical sum? If you consider any traverse, any traverse or any closed figure, whether it is a triangle or a rectangle or anything, triangle or a rectangle or any structure, then the sum of angles, that is, if it's an exterior angle, it is given by 2n plus 4 into 90. Sum of exterior angle is 2n plus 4 into 90. If it is an exterior angle, that's, that's why we already discussed whether the angle is an exterior angle or interior angle in the second step itself. Okay. We, have, we have found out that it's a clockwise traverse. If it's a clockwise traverse, then the angle we get is an exterior inward angle. If it's an anti-clockwise traverse, what we get is an interior inward angle. If it's an exterior inward angle, the equation is this one. If it's an interior inward angle, then the equation is 2n minus 4 into 90. Since in this question, we have an exterior inward angle, we use 2n plus 4 into 90. Then, what is n? N is the number of sides of a triangle, number of sides of triangles. For example, for example, if you have a triangle here, what is the number of sides here? 1, 2 and 3. We have 3 sides. Okay. So similarly, in this figure, how many sides are there? This is 1, this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 4. There are 4 sides here. So the value of N is 4. Value of N is 4. Substituting here, 2 into 4 plus 4. N is 4. We put N as 4 because there are 4 sides in this figure. In most some in some figures there will be five or maybe six depending on the number of angles we have to find out. So uh, we substitute this, we get 1080. Since we add all these values to get 1080, and the theoretical sum will also give us 1080, the angles we found out is correct. So this is how we proceed with the question on included angles. That is, find all the back bearings first, then draw the drivers to find out whether it's open or closed drivers. Also check whether it's a clockwise or anti-clockwise drivers. So that in clockwise, that we have to find out the exterior angle or what we get will be an exterior angle and in anti-clockwise travels will be an interior angle. I will do another question related to this interior angle also. Okay. Find all the inward angles using this equation we already studied and remember to change this forward bearing to back bearing if required. If the angle is not given, we have to change it to back bearing of the same line the written in the reverse order. That's what we have done here. Okay. Then finally, find it, finding out all the angles, find the sum, check it with the theoretical sum using this formula and if it is okay then the answer is correct. If it is wrong then we have to do some corrections to it. The correction part will be taken up in the next type of problem and if there is no if there is a drastic change then we have made some mistakes here then we have to redo all the steps maybe some substitution mistake we have made. So that is what we have learned in include angles and its 